Alrighty, next pro tip is a really simple one. This is a one star formatting tip, very, very basic, but also very helpful. We're gonna talk about aligning workbook objects using Snap to Grid. And it sounds a little bit fancy, but it's extremely simple. All you need to do is hold the Alt key as you drag or resize an object to snap them to the cell borders. So here's an example. Let's say you've got a chart on a worksheet, which is an example of an object. And that chart is just kind of floating there free form on top of your grid. If you grab the entire chart or one specific edge of the chart and hold Alt, you can essentially snap it right to those column and row borders. This is a great tool for spacing and alignment and consistency to make sure that all of your objects are aligned to that same common grid. So a couple bonus tips here as well. If instead of holding Alt, you hold Control while you drag an object, what that's going to do is actually create a duplicate copy of that object at the same time. So a really quick way to kind of create duplicate versions of the same object instead of copying and pasting. Um, and then second tip here, another alignment related tip. If you hold shift as you drag an object, it's going to limit that movement to a single plane, either horizontal or vertical. So the obvious use cases here, again, making sure that your worksheet objects are all aligned to that common grid and also designing clean and polished user facing tools or dashboards. You know, sometimes these little things, these little formatting tips like spacing and alignment can go a long way as far as producing professional quality work. So let's jump into our pro tip workbook and practice snapping some objects to our grid. All right, so if you've been following along with the course, you can go ahead and open up your Excel pro tip workbook, head to your table of contents. We're gonna jump to the snap to grid uh, demo in our formatting tip category. Let's go ahead and press link. And when you land on that snap to grid tab, you'll see three charts that are kind of just floating here uh, on the sheet. And if you select one of them and note, you gotta be careful kind of where you click. And you wanna click right by the edge where you see that four pointed arrow. That's gonna allow you to move the entire object at once. Notice how it kind of moves smoothly over the sheet. Whereas when I hold Alt, it starts to get a little bit snappier, right? And it's snapping to the actual uh, worksheet grid behind it. So let's go ahead and align the upper left corner right there to B3. And that was an example of moving the whole object, but we can also just grab you know, the bottom edge, for instance, hold Alt and snap it to row 13. We can grab the right edge. You're gonna look for the two-headed arrow in this case, hold Alt, and let's snap it right to column F. So now we've got a chart that's exactly five columns wide and about 10 rows tall, which is gonna make it very easy to follow the same process with these other two charts. So let's go ahead and grab this blue chart. Let's move it kind of close to the green one. We're gonna hold Alt, put the upper left corner in H3, and then go through that exact same process. Grab the bottom, hold Alt to row 13. Grab the right edge, hold Alt, apply it to column L. And there you go. Now we have two consistently formatted charts. All we've gotta do now is apply that same process to this orange guy here. And we're gonna drop it into N3. Scroll all the way over, hold Alt, bring it out to column R, and bring the bottom edge up to row 13. And there you have it. We've just created consistently sized charts using that snap to grid option. Um, also keep in mind, you've got other tools in the page layout tab uh, to align different objects. For instance, if you were to select and hold control to grab all three, you could use tools like align top or distribute horizontally to accomplish the same effect. And these tools can be really, really helpful, especially if your column widths aren't exactly the same as they are right here. So like most things in Excel, many different approaches that you can use to solve the same task. So there you have it, using Alt to snap objects to the grid.